Hi everybody. In today's video, I want to share with you the common themes that I have picked up on women and even some men who seem to struggle the most with losing weight and then maintaining that weight loss. The biggest thing that I see that holds people back is people pleasing and having trouble saying no and setting clear boundaries. Also, having a low baseline dopamine level is always present, but I don't want this to be the focus of today's video. So I'm going to focus specifically on the people pleasing element. To be able to lose weight and maintain that weight loss and live a healthy lifestyle in this day and age will require every last bit of you. And so when you are a woman or a man who struggles to take that extra step because they might need some extra workouts on certain seasons. They might need to wake up one hour earlier or come home one hour later to get that workout in. And so it really forces you to be outside your comfort zone. There is really nothing convenient about chasing fitness and improving your health, especially in this day and age, and especially if you live in the United States. And so to be able to do all those things, you have to have a very strong character and you have to know exactly what you want and what you don't want in your life. And you can't be codependent on other people. If you have that codependency, I've noticed that's a recipe for failure, really, unfortunately. I have been coaching hundreds of people and I've noticed, especially if I am working with somebody international, especially from uh, countries that are not considered as developed as the United States, for example, that's an even bigger problem because if I'm working with, let's say, a stay at home mom or a woman who is dependent financially on her husband, all of a sudden the mere notion of her even working with me is a problem because the husband might not want to spend extra money on coaching. And then he would be telling her, no, you're just great the way that you are. Why are you doing this? Why are you working out so much? Why are you not coming out with us and ordering what everybody's eating? And so to go from that to what you really need to do to transform your body and mental health is just such a wide range of habits that have to change such a complete different life lifestyle that you have to live that, you know, surely enough, that person that I'm referring to um, just did not follow through, even though she was seeing fantastic results. It actually brought her out of menopause because we did the weight loss on a carnivore diet and so all this extra fat that she was eating and losing the inflammation from losing body fat helped her get out of menopause and she started having her period again in her 50s so i'm really saddened that she could not really become the person that she really wanted to be because she was not financially independent. And now not only did she have to convince herself of how much work she needed to do, but also she had to convince somebody else that husband, it wasn't really his priority for her to lose a few extra pounds. And so this is a really big problem. Um, and now I see a lot of this kind of uh, fantasy world that some influencers are creating online with like traditional wives as if this is something we should be aspiring to. There is a reason women have fought long and hard for equality. And uh, let's not forget why we did that. Not that we even have equality in this day and age, but still, at least we're so much better off now than what um, just the pre previous generation was. Just the other day, I read that women had the right in the United States to ask for a business loan by themselves without a male co-signing in 1988. I was born in 1987. If that doesn't give you pause when you see all of these traditional wives posts and content pushing us to go back to the way it was, if that doesn't give you pause, um, this should. And I don't want this to seem like it's only a problem with females. I was surprised after working with so many people to realize that even some men have a certain level of codependency and even some men can struggle to set boundaries and say no and really prioritize their success. And uh, I think we've been told from religion sometimes, from the way that we were brought up sometimes, there are just so many different influences that kind of have brainwashed us growing up that if you do prioritize yourself, you, you're selfish. If you're not 
taking every last dime and every last minute of your time giving it to your family whether you're male or female then you're selfish and what they forget to tell us is that you have to be selfish first before you can be selfless because somebody who is quote unquote selfish and actually made something out of themselves then when they actually go back and give back to their community to their families the amount that they can give is a gazillion times higher and far bigger impact than what you can give with this one hour or two hour of free time and instead of focusing on yourself you're giving it to your family or minimal amount of income that you're you know giving it to your family to do a little fun stuff instead of thinking long term and thinking of the bigger picture and having a true real big impact in your life and the lives of those around you but of course i do see this more often with women because as women we are taught to be people pleasers i remember when i read the book by amy schumer the girl with the lower back tattoos i think it was the name of that book i think every woman has to must read it and make sure your children especially your girls and daughters read it i remember there was a part of it where she talks about how if you notice sometimes when we are in a conversation and let's say a couple people say something awkward to one another there's this awkward silence it tends to be the women that have to jump in and kind of smooth out the conversation and smooth out the, any awkwardness even though we had nothing to do with it we weren't the one who instigated whatever awkward thing was said and we're just bystanders but somehow we kind of feel like it's our job to make everybody feel comfortable and i remember after i read that i was like oh my gosh i do this all the time and i made it a point from then on to just let it be. If somebody with me said something to somebody else and it created some awkward situation, I'll just sit there. I'll smile or I'll do whatever I want, but I'm not gonna jump in and save somebody else's butt just because they wanted to be, because maybe for them, it's not even uncomfortable. That's why they said it. So it's not uncomfortable for them to make this an awkward situation. So it's if it's not your problem, it's not really your responsibility to jump in and please everybody. This is a form of people pleasing. So there are a lot of resources that you can use to build yourself up and protect your energy, set clear boundaries, be selfish first so you can be selfless in a way that really matters, that really has an impact. I'm going to end this YouTube video with an excerpt from a poem. This excerpt was in a Beyonce song, actually. It's really beautiful. It was by, let me see if I can say the name right, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie from her poem, We Should All Be Feminists. And this is what she said, and I quote, we teach girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you would threaten the man. Because I am female, I am expected to aspire to marriage. I am expected to make my life choices, always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Now, marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support, but why do we teach girls to aspire to marriage and we don't teach boys the same? We raise girls to see each other as competitors, not for jobs or accomplishments, which I think can be a good thing, but for the attention of men. We teach girls that they cannot be sexual beings in the way that boys are. That's very powerful. So I hope this was helpful. I know a ton of you watching this YouTube video can detect certain behaviors in your lives where you're still people pleasing and having trouble setting boundaries. I know to this day, I still have behaviors like that, but I'm far more aware. And over time, I keep setting higher and higher boundaries and protecting my energy better and better. So it's a lifelong journey. But wherever you are right now, just know that you, you can continuously get better and better and better at it. And by doing that, you will actually gain far more respect from the people around you and you will gain happiness and health. If you need more help and support, check out our group coaching me and my close collaborator and a very intelligent lady, Ayana. Um, we're holding group coaching where we, we just kicked them off recently. So um, everything is on my website or you can check out my guides, the guides to raise your baseline dopamine level. So it becomes easier to set boundaries by raising your pain threshold and not really feeling the emotional pain associated with raising your standards and setting higher boundaries for yourself. So um, to raise your baseline dopamine levels, you may want to check out my guide, Dopamine Brain, but also Monster Mindset, where I talk 
about visualization and how can how it can also raise your baseline dopamine levels and if you are one of those people stuck in a situation where you feel dependent financially on somebody else at least put a plan in place to become truly independent and whole by yourself and gain that financial independence and one way you can do that is by building an online brand so i've been able to quit all of my jobs and most recently i quit my nutrition professor job at Miami Dade College because I've been making consistently six figures from my online brand and I put the whole roadmap and how and my experience doing that in my guide um, 100k social media success guide so check those out I hope they're helpful to you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this kind of content make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.